There was a study published in 1978 by uh, Dr. Christian and people in the University of Alabama and Birmingham Neuroscience Program laboratory that characterized dimethyltryptamine as a neurotransmitter. It meets all the criteria you know, for a neurotransmitter. The precursors are there. The enzymes are there to synthesize it. It uh, can be taken up into vesicles. It can be released from vesicles in the brain. It has electrophysiological activity. It can cause a signal to be sent between neurons. Add to that the fact that it can be actively transported into the brain from the periphery and that there are enzymes in the periphery that are also capable of synthesizing those compounds. And you have a scenario where you can start to see possibilities, given what its effects are on perception, as to what the role of this compound may be.